Australia. <laughs> what is going on in my life? That is this dance. <laughs> it was never meant to be the theme tune, but it's just kind of happened, right? Oh, I love this. I love this tune. Destiny. It is destiny, mate. Happy Thursday. Welcome, everyone. How is everybody this week? Just run through some of the comments. So remember, log in so that we can see who we're talking to and then we can bring it up so we can say, hey, Holly, happy Thursday. How Love are you? It. Yeah, all the instructions are on at the bottom of the live, right? I believe so. They just need to give permission. Exactly that. Exactly that. Feels weird without any music now, doesn't it, mate? Hi, yeah, Joanna. Why did you turn it off? I was quite into that. You need to get me going, mate. You need to get me going. <laughs> I need to get my mouth. You remember, going. mate, it's 8 p.m. Oh, and I've been up since 5 a.m. So wow. it's, it's a long day. Wow. That is a long day. Can we see if, uh, who who wants the music to go back on for another two minutes? <laughs> yeah, there you go, M Mr. Facebook. Marius is doing, he's doing. Marius is doing super since it's the LTI show again. Thank you, Marius. <laughs> oh, love it, Marius. Do you know what? That's how we're starting to feel now. It's like the weeks. Yeah, the I, I think Facebook user has got it spot on. <laughs> <laughs> No, Go, if, if you're tuning in on, um, if you're just a bit of housekeeping, if you're tuning in on YouTube Live, um, obviously Facebook, welcome. This is Pips Like a Pro, the show that's designed to help take your trading to the next level, one pip at a time, just one pip at a time. Let's be in the moment, let's focus on the pip, and the fortunes will follow, as they say. So, uh, yeah, just letting everybody get in. I tell you what, mate, it's the, it's the second week in lockdown for you, though. Um, I've been talking to a few people this week about like lockdown and habits. Have you got any habits that you kind of started in lockdown um, that you've carried on? Because I've got <laughs> I've got quite a funny one. It doesn't really look like it at the moment. It's not a great advertisement because it's proper bedhead. But during the first lockdown, I decided to learn how to cut my own hair. So I got the clippers watched on YouTube. And I was like, well, I have to because it was becoming a bush. And um. I still, even though everywhere hairdressers are open now and barbers, I still do it now myself. And do you know what? I love it. I absolutely wow. love it. It's like a little ceremony. I get to be creative and I'm actually getting quite good now. I can give myself a fade at the back. And, That's yeah. impressive, mate. I've got to say. Mate, save myself a few dollars but, as well. It, but, but the truth is, if I did that, what would you say to me? You'd say to me, you cheap bastard, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest, yeah. <laughs> that's very true I know you mate I know you very well <laughs> no actually you know what I there's a part of me you're right you do know me very well there's a part of me that would say about that but there's a part of me that would also say good on you mate good on you mate yeah thank but, you yeah I'm sure, I'm sure self ceremony <laughs> self -love, express through movement so I guess you are you haven't got any habits that you started and formed through lockdown um <laughs> I can't really think of any, to be honest. I mean, um, I guess the only, I don't know, it's probably a bad habit, but often I just kind of um, get up and just get going immediately, like start working, which is a bad habit. And then I go and do my other bits. But like, obviously, when I go in the city or you have to get ready, go and have your shower first, all that kind of stuff. So probably a bad habit, but can't think of anything uh, that I've created since lockdown, especially. No. Uh, Sierra says they have developed a habit of walking for two hours every day instead of one hour. Good work. That's great. 
<laughs> you know what? Actually, no. I mean, since lockdown, the one thing that I do is I pretty much run every day, and I don't particularly like running, but I'm, I run most days. I, I actually did a run before we um, before we jumped on on a serious level. I did a nice sort of half hour run. I thought, let's get some energy because it's like the the end of my day. Yeah. But, um, I just, yeah. um, it is, people say, what do you do? It's actually good to hear about your routine. Have you got a screen on or something? Because I can hear us, I can hear some feedback. Or um, I can, or no, what can you see? Okay. Can you hear yourself twice? Yeah, just in the background, I can hear something. Uh, and his hair looks easier to do than yours. And they're very clever. They've, they've remained anonymous for that comment. What did he say about the hair? Yours looks easier to do than uh, mine. Yeah, absolutely, mate. You'd be surprised. This is a well-oiled machine these days after years of practice. Yeah, this one looks very complicated, I've got to say. Hold on. Say that, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll have a look. Let me see what I can do about the speed. Yeah, I can change it to the laptop, which may make a difference. Awesome. It's only just started now as we've gone live. How about now? Typical. I think that's good. I'm happy. I've, ha I've had my diva moment. That should be that should be fine now, right? Two hundred pull-ups a day. Someone's doing two hundred wow. pull-ups a day since lockdown. You must who, be. Who is that? Someone. That's pretty Someone. impressive. That's interesting. How many in a row? That would be the pull-ups. You must be a, a beast. <laughs> that. That's. I mean, look, if you break it down over over the day, I mean, you could do like, what, 20 at a time, maybe? That's pushing it 20 in a row. I could do about 15, 20, I guess, tops back in the day. Or just like that, basically. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, mate, I don't well, even know if I do one. <laughs> to be honest. Mate, that's that. Mate. Upper, upper, upper strength. I need to work on it. Pre Rona Demi could have done it in that photo. Yeah, that's true. Pre Rona that's Demi true. would have been all over that. He would have done 201 just whilst we're still talking. That's true. Ridiculous. I, I, I definitely get an A for effort always in the gym. I don't know about anything else. Guys, can you still hear a third voice in the background? It should be better now. I think we fixed that. Um, like we said last week, we are using a new streaming service which tends to throw up a few little uh, surprises and spanners in the works only when we go live bizarrely so um yeah yeah so when we do a test run everything works perfectly well exactly that. It's, like, it's like a lot of people's training <laughs> when, it, when it's on demo it goes all really well and then this is a good one hit the live button it kind of like doesn't match the person saying have to do as many pull-ups as pips that you profit in a day. So that's a lot of pull-ups they're going to do. You're just what like me? your bank. No, just like your bank account gets buff, buffer and buffer every day or every week when you post your, uh, when you post your winning setups, they're doing as many pull-ups as you're doing pips is how I interpret that. Okay, this, must be Hulk okay. Hogan. this must be Hulk Hogan is anonymous. Do you know what, guys? Um, get the, um, If you guys can go on the link underneath the live on the Facebook group, It'd be great to see your names. So there's a, I think you just need to click the link and you just need to give them permission. So uh, Sierra, you've done that. Great, thank you. Connor, you've done that. Lorian, Marius, um, Alvaro, you guys are all good. Dean, Dean, great stuff. Nice to have you here, mate. Uh, Joanna, because it, it's nice to know who's on. Um, but for the rest of them, I can't seem to see their names. Holly, Holly, you're good as well. But the rest of them, they are known as Facebook user at the moment, which is a lovely name. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> we'll get to know them. We'll get to know them. So there's a few messages coming in. Um, well, they're, they're asking, like, how do you get your name to appear? Yeah. I can't, I can't remember, can you? 
the, yeah, underneath the live, there should be a StreamYard link. That's what it says. Really? That's what it said last time. Sab, oh, there you go. Sab's in. Sab, how did you do it? Can you tell everybody? I think there's just a link there, right? Connor, you're good. Because then at least we can actually speak to people. It would be nice. It would be nice, but at least they're here in spirit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rico, awesome. You must have just done it. Praise. Hiya. Yeah. Thank yes. you for yes. logging yeah, in, guys. Link, Sam, is saying. Say that again. There you go. Streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. Scotty's sorted, and he's got a very – Scotty, is it your Doberman that's doing the 200 pull-ups a day? That dog is looking buff. Is that Scotty that's doing that, 200 pull-ups a day? I don't know. I think it's the Doberman. Look at that dog. Wowzers. That is a big-ass dog. Do you like animals out of interest? I don't even know that answer. Do you not? No, do, do you? I'm asking. Uh, yeah, no, do you not know that answer? No. Oh, okay. Um, I love, love, love dogs ever really? since I was younger. So, yeah, my first childhood memories, like my granddad used to have a Jack Russell. He used to live next to a farm. And um, I just remember, like, summer holidays and stuff like that. I'd go and see Kelly. Kelly was her name. Um, so sweet and just so playful. And we would just, like, literally run over the fields through the farms. And, like, yeah, that was, like, my days during when I was, like, up until about 18 in my summer holidays. <laughs> wow. Not really. About eight. And then she uh, she went to the higher place to be happier. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty good about that. What about you, cats or dogs, mate? I reckon you're a cat guy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a cat guy by force, um, <laughs> not necessarily by choice. No, yeah. I, actually, I think I, I would prefer dogs, but um, I think with dogs, you have a lot more responsibility, don't you? So, you can't just leave them. You have to actually walk them and do stuff with them. Whereas cats, you can just kind of like live your life. <laughs> Pretty but, much. Holly's on the money there. Dogs are better than humans. That's true. Like that is true. They're not out to scam you, for sure. <laughs> no. Wow. Cats and dogs. dogs. That's greedy. Sab, that's just greedy. Yeah, there we go. Dean's got a Jack Russell giving me a strange look right now. Wonders what the hell I'm watching. Yeah, he, he knows you're talking about it, mate. And he's not the first person to think that about our show either, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd love to have a dog one day, but I think the kids need to grow up, need to grow up a little bit. Uh, what are they, two and four, right? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're enough responsibility. You know I hardly sleep, so... If I have a dog as well, it's a bit much. Although I could take him on a run with me. Exactly that. Get one, like, get one like Lugo, mate. He can take you for a run. True. I've see, I see people doing it all the time, actually, running with their dogs. Yeah. Yeah. People here, they do it with their skateboards. So they just go up and down the Esplanade and the promenade. That's the difference between uh, England and Australia, mate. It's awesome. Like you see, like people buzzing along on their surf skateboards, and then this little chihuahua pulling them along. But it's a beast. So it's a uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. So we're also getting lots of messages saying, "Da da 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 da." I've got to find it now. What are they saying? They are asking the question on everybody's mind. What is it? I can't find it now. There's loads of them. There was loads of them at the beginning. And now we're getting loads of comments about dogs and cats. Um, the surprise, basically. Whilst I try and find it, the surprise. What's the surprise? So we're going to get to that. We've got plenty of time. Um, but I guess, yeah, do you want to? I might be surprised as well. <laughs> I know what the surprise is. <laughs> Wait, I want to see you cry. Everybody's just tuning in to see you cry. It's going to be interesting. You know what? That's one. That's the one complaint that my wife has is that I don't really cry. Okay. That I must not be human. You are a you are a bit superhuman with regards to your emotions, aren't you? I mean, I that's am, a, yeah. that's an interesting question. How do you detach from? 
That's it. Um, yeah. I've got to be honest with you. That's something I struggle with. Um, if if I'm being honest, um, because you you kind of like I commit myself to, I guess, to being the best possible version I can be in terms of success. Let's say, and some and and you kind of sometimes you you work on yourself so much to not get overly emotional that it's very difficult to then, you know, when it comes to like, okay, I'm done for the day to say, okay, I'm now a different person. Mm. It's very tough. That's, that's, if I, if I could say that that's an area, I think I already told you that and you recommended a book for me. That's an area that I need to improve on because as much as that really serves me in trading and it really does it really does because i mean nothing impacts me like i know it sounds a bit i won't let it impact me whatever happens in the day in the markets i just take it and i'm good but but then also that's that 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 how do you change that character to in your real life it's quite hard to do that but not impossible, and that's that's it. Again, I guess I'm showing people that I need to grow still in those areas. Very interesting, and um, I mean, look, it's all growth. Trading is massive growth. Like I said in the Facebook post that I did uh, yesterday before hitting the sack, um, been speaking to a few of or quite a lot of our um, students that have been through the program and filming testimonials, and not aside from their success in trading and their growth. It's just been interesting and really kind of inspiring, like I said, to to go through their journeys um, and to share that with them and, and kind of put faces to names and things like that. It's been um, it's been really, really inspiring. And most people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, sorry, I had to say that because that was good. Dean. <laughs> well, Daryl's got this one as well. Jedi's don't cry. That might be true. I like that, mate. I like that. So you, are I'm you sure a non crier as well? I'm sure Luke Skywalker. Are you a Jedi, Daryl? <laughs> I'm sure Luke Skywalker has done a couple of times in the films, right? I think he has. I, I and also, do you, do you know what? On a serious note, I mean, Jedi's I can't talk about, but there is a misnomer about guys not being able to cry and we shouldn't do it. And I think that's like from my dad, my dad's mm. era. Um, and he's I've only ever seen him cry once, and I yeah, I think it's far more healthy to be able to handle your emotions. And that's one thing that's great about women is that they will, they feel something, they express it, the world's going to end. And then 30 seconds later, they're great again. And we're like, but the world was going to end 30 seconds ago. And it's, um, it's great that the feminine energy can express that. And I think we're learning more as humans that we're both masculine and feminine in this in this meat suit, in this body that we're in. And I think as people come more to terms with that, we won't have to be defined by what a man is or what a woman is. I think it's gonna be, uh, it's exciting times for team humanity, that's for sure. But what I was gonna say was that everybody bar none have been, been saying about the support, the support you give. And I'm sure people in this group, the support that you answer is like, you answer people's questions, you don't know them. Like you don't know what they've done. And they're like, oh, I've got an emergency, can you help me? Or I need to do this and I, I'm, I've been really impressed and inspired by how how you're giving your time to this group. So I know people have said it to me. Can you thank him? Um, and I thought I'd save that instead of doing it privately. I thought I'd just kind of just give you a serious moment and just say for all the four people that have said it. Now I'm only joking. Lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be too serious all the time, but people are saying thank you very much for giving your time because it's not often like try going into Apple and getting the CEO to answer messages on Facebook all day, every day. Um, it's just not going to happen, guys. So let's make the most of him whilst we've still got access to him. But one question that I wanted to, here we go. That's it. I must, I must not be a real man. <laughs> real man, I'm not afraid to cry. Well, and Daryl says he cries watching adverts. Mm, interesting. What and this one, are you watching, Daryl? This comment, yeah. Crying is a letting go, no controlling, so it's healthy, 100%. 100% amen to that. When I say yeah, amen... No, I, I, I do agree with all of this. That's why I said I think it's something where I can grow, for sure. Sal, thank you for sharing. Crying is difficult. Yeah, I mean, I think that's programs that we were Sal talking about. a similar personality to me, I think. 
<laughs> when I spoke to him. Fair enough. Richard, test approved. I'm not sure what you were testing for, buddy, but... We, we can see your name. Ah, okay. Glad someone's on the ball today. So, yeah, I mean, look, with regards to this, there must be a reason why why the the level of support and like not even just for the students that come through the program that are like i've been on other programs and i can't get hold of anybody that it just feels like they've taken my money and then they just bolted and run um why what's behind the whole the whole why you give so much support it's like it's like you're on a mission mate sometimes and um yeah I, i'd be keen to kind of uh, go for that yeah no I, it's something that i love to do to be quite honest um, irrespective if somebody's a student or not a student, if they need my help and I have the solution or the answer, I couldn't just, you know, fob them off. Um, it's just not in my nature to do that. Um, like even, I won't say the person's name, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to help somebody who has made a slightly bad decision, maybe, it seems. Um, with signing up with a company that doesn't offer that sort of personal touch and support and spend a lot of money. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know how you can do that, basically. I think, like, this particular company is saying, well, if you want that personal support, you've got to spend another 12 grand or something. So, you know, it's just um, everybody, it, it seems like there's so many people out there that are just looking to take advantage of people uh but it doesn't cost i mean for me when you help somebody i get as much from it as the person i'm helping that's 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 the truth the feeling of helping somebody that that can't be replaced so yeah so it, it's it's nothing that i i consciously do it's just a natural state and i think you'd be the same wouldn't you if somebody asked for your help you wouldn't say no sorry you i can't help you you'd certainly try and help them, right? I can't say that I'd do it for everybody in the amount of people, the, to the volume that you're doing. I can't say that until I'm in that in that situation, mate. Like it's, it's, it's literally pushing to the limit with regards to, um, to how much and to how much of your time and energy, mate. Cause I'm very, um, I'll admit it, I'm very kind of, not selfish you could say selfish is a word with my energy like i realized about myself like i couldn't admit to myself that i was an introvert so for me i was always like oh no i have to be an extrovert that's me that's my nature but actually an exercise that's really worthwhile doing is getting to know yourself and seeing are you an introvert or are you an extrovert and it's not what we think it is so how do you charge up do you charge up by being around lots of people and being sociable or do you need to kind of retreat into your own space and kind of just have your own little your own little place and for me i've realized that to charge up i need to go away um either go within do some meditation or just be by myself and be out of out of the way so i do feel people's energy quite a lot and it sometimes it, it used to affect me quite a lot and i never used to know why so i don't know mate being honest like feeling a lot of people's pain um yeah i'd like to say that i'd help them but as much as to the lengths that you go to that even people don't see and what I've seen behind the curtains that you don't mention. It's, um, it's pretty ridiculous, mate. So yeah, it's pretty good. So fair play to you, mate. But I mean, look, if that's, if that's your motivation and that's your reason for, for the support. I guess I feel, I feel like it's just part of my job. Like a lot of people don't know the answers by themselves and they maybe don't have the confidence to figure things out for themselves. And so the, the people that really want to make a change, you know, if I can give them a little bit of advice and a little bit of a, a little bit of guidance that can set them on the right path at the same time, you know, and I think that's a big part of what I'm trying to create in this group because, you know, we don't want these spammy links and these people just jumping in and send. And what's been quite amazing, it's been quite limited. Like, I've got to say, since we set this group up, it's been very, very limited. I mean, you know that that was one of our concerns, like, should we moderate all the comments, right? Yeah. And let's not let any comments through until we approve them. And then we thought, no, do you know what? That's not, we want the, the, the honest people to have 
a great place where they can network with like-minded individuals and do you know what will be on top of anybody who is not like that anybody who's just out there for themselves that just wants to spam nonsense basically immediately remove them no no holds barred get rid of them we want cr to create positivity because no matter what even if you're a student or not a student that doesn't really matter it's about being in a, in a positive environment that's going to help you grow as a person and then ultimately hopefully help you succeed in life whether that's through trading or something else so yeah i mean that's what that's what we're in it for otherwise like you said to me why why bother to do this why why teach people why support people if you're going to do it do it properly or don't do it as simple as that that's yeah how i see it fair enough i mean look on a on a one-on-one -on -one basis it's um you know you can help one person at a time as they say but like over the last few weeks um and couple of months like i spoke to one guy wiped out 80 grand and then he only then decided to say look i need to um I need to get some help if I'm going to carry on doing this. But the crazy thing was he still wanted to trade, but it was like, okay, I've tried to do it by myself. I've wiped out 80 K. Mm, maybe I might need to get some, uh, to get some education. Um, and even people that have been on other courses, look, we'll just have a, a, a free call. And they were like, look, is this call free? I don't, I don't really have much money. I've been stung. I've paid like a massive amount of money and they're not making any money and we've helped them. And now they're making, they're making trades and they're starting to make some money, which is amazing. And one guy this week I spoke to, really cool guy, really, really cool guy. But he blew out like, I think it's 26K in three weeks, three or four weeks. Wow. And we did a call and started explaining to him about just the basics and sent a free training video that you do. And he sent me a message saying, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm never going to do this again. I can't believe I've literally just thrown my money away. So some for some people it is an expensive lesson but you know it's just what's in front of you and even if you're not on the program even if you never end up paying anything to come on a program we're still going to give you value guys because we really value the group and i have to say this week um i don't have that much time at the moment but this week i have made a little bit of time to just go into the, the nooks and crannies of the group and to just see the amount of knowledge and information that people are sharing is fantastic. So, you know, we do sit, we do have people moderating for us as part of the team and they're feeding back about all the comments. And it's, it's really great to see like there's some really high level conversation. Um, and I don't know about you, I can't speak for you, but for me, I'm learning a lot from the group um, and I'm really happy to give back and, and share little bits that I know. Cause if we all help each other up, then yeah, we can make, we can see the back of 2020 and hopefully make 2021 an amazing, amazing year, right? No, exactly. And like, Lauren, like, I like your comment because um, I think it's really important that you have the right attitude yourself. You've got to be receptive. I saw somebody post in the um, in the group just before we got on that you know nobody wants to help you. Don't everyone's out to scam you? Um, and I think Lauren replied to him, and I replied to him as well that. If you're completely closed, then you're going to also close down opportunities, and you actually are you're you're actually better to have the mindset of I'd rather take a risk and have the opportunity to do something way way bigger, and even if it ends up being the wrong decision, you're much better off. You're in a much better place than always thinking that everybody's out to to scam you and you know everybody's out to take your money because with that mindset you're absolutely going to fail you failed already absolutely failed whereas if you have the mindset of like look i'll 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 try things obviously do your due diligence but i need to try things i need to see who can help me grow and sometimes that requires an investment so i think that mindset like really served me really really well and if it wasn't for that mindset because what i invested in bad things like i invested in the wrong things or things that didn't necessarily help me but by doing that i also invested in the right things and got mentors that could help me and i think whatever you do if you're not willing to invest in yourself whether that be you know growing as a person um whether that be in in learning a skill 
um, you're always going to be stuck in what you're doing. This, this, unless you know you are very, very fortunate and you win the lottery, or and even then, it doesn't really work, does it? Because you win the lottery and then you've still got that poor mindset, and that's and that's the thing. It's like if you you have to take risks. Like there's no if you want to if you want to grow as a person and you want to achieve big things, you have to take risks in life. And they've got to be calculated risks. The thing is, do you know what's really interesting, Gavin? People are willing to gamble their money, but they're not willing to invest in something that's going to improve their skills. You know, whatever that is, whether it's trading or something else. But it's much harder for some people. It's a real weird one. Like somebody might be willing to just blow 26 grand, like you just said, but then or 20 grand or 10 grand or I've seen people blow even more than that crazy amount but then they're not willing to better themselves i mean it, it just doesn't make any sense right it just it's just like quite absurd yes although if you go deeper into it like from a psychological point of view there's obviously explanations for it right and like you said before like what moves the market human behavior and emotions like we do have to take responsibility to not get caught up in that moment with the endorphins and the release and stuff like that. And I can see it's an easy escapism for some people, right? It's pretty crazy. But what's been the biggest, what's been the biggest investment you've made in a mentor and why? Because I mean, that's a question I call. <laughs> no, don't ask me that, mate. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Um, no, I mean, I, I invested a lot, but do you know what? Like, one one thing I will say, and I will I will give you a, a, an amount, but one thing I will say, I invested more when I was successful, like, but I I did invest at the beginning as well, but but obviously, I I invested what I had, what I could, but I didn't stop investing as I became successful because you know, like I think we had it last week where somebody said to us, and I know I've said it a few times now but you know maybe we're getting to the end of the road or whatever uh, the, the term was um but i never look at it like that i'm always like okay and even now like if i find somebody that can improve me maybe i don't think there's i don't know if there's too much i can improve in my understanding of the markets but i definitely can improve me i can i can grow there's lots and lots of levels and that ultimately will result in me building you know whether that's building more wealth for me but also building more wealth for people um like maybe being able to serve people better um, there's always growth in those areas and i would invest large sums of money to be better than where i am today um and i think i've always had that mindset that in, an investment is exactly that it's not a cost it's an investment and i always term it like that actually like I always think a cost is buying a car, but an investment is something that's going to better myself. So if I feel like I'm investing in something that's going to make me better, then it's a worthwhile investment. So whatever the cost is, so or whatever the, the price is. So, you know, I mean, I spend on one occasion, I spent 30K to work with someone one week. Um, I was making good money at that time, and but I wasn't satisfied. And I thought, well, there's somebody that's making more money than me, and I can learn something from him. And so I flew to America, and I worked with somebody one-to-one -one and gave him 30K. And I landed my – that was the time I landed my job in the, um, in the hedge fund, and I got a massive account. I made a lot of money working for this hedge fund. But had it not been for working with this person and seeing the kind of, I mean, he was trading huge size. Um, it just opened my eyes up to think, well, this is just, it's just numbers. It's just um, maths. It doesn't matter what the number, what the zeros are. And you just, you just, um, and I, and I kind of, um, I guess I just, I learned something by observing him more than, more than strategy i learned something by just observing who he was how he handled stuff um true story like i i sat with him 
And I can't give you his name because I, I signed an NDA, but um, because this guy's big, like really big. Um, but I sat with him and he was just talking me through some stuff. And I, I, I was really more there to observe him than to learn new strategies because I knew how to make money. But I was just, I didn't know how I can get to another level. Um, and that was just about mindset. And he was talking to me, and um, as he was talking to me, he was about 100K down. Um, but it, it, it actually made zero difference. And I was actually a bit more concerned than he was. <laughs> so I literally was saying to him, we can talk later. Like, do you not need to deal with your positions? And he was like, no, no, they're fine. They're managed. And, you know, he ended up making like 300 grand or something by, you know, by the time I'd finished working with him and he, and like, and I was like, wow, this is like crazy. This is crazy. What am I seeing here? Like, it was like, it was just a bit unreal. But, but I, I, I kind of, I was like, is it this easy to make money? Like, I, I mean, that kind of money. And so when I was then presented with an opportunity to go and trade a huge size account, I was like, I wasn't overwhelmed and I was quite confident. And it gave me the belief that actually it's just numbers. And I, and I, I can still remember his mannerisms, how calm he was, how he dealt with stuff. And that's all I wanted. That's what I got from it. And that gave me so much belief because I knew I, know, I, knew I had an edge for sure. Um, but I think a lot of people probably listening to this have got an edge. Um, some, some people definitely have. But they don't have one thing. They don't have yet the belief and confidence. And that is a really, really, really fundamental part. Because if you add an edge, a strong edge, and a real understanding of how to make money in trading, and then you add belief and confidence, you it's, it's just like, that's it. It's just like your life changes, really, that simple. So, yeah, there you go. Um, what is that? What is that belief? Like, how do you, how do you cultivate that? Um, and how do people do that? Because obviously, sharing my personal story, as I have done, I started to last week, and building a seven-figure business on Amazon, and then that's just been blown out with this year. And obviously, as a lot of businesses have, so I'm not complaining. It's just, um, it's part of the life journey. But I do have that belief, having built a, uh, some, something from nothing to seven figures it's really given me that belief if i can just transfer my energy over and just having faith but obviously with you pushing me it's it's it is intense like i i don't just want to rest on my laurels i want to get as good as i can um as quick as i can but at the same time i'm releasing from that need so if i if i do something and it's a mistake then i understand that i'm making i'm making a lesson from it and i i guess the reason for this is to give a bit more in psychology because people are saying like, you know, how do we measure psychology? I have one question, how do you measure psychology? And it's just a really interesting topic to go on and just to assess yourself. I can answer and, that if you well, want. Yeah, no, it'd be great. Yeah, no, the, the, how, how do you measure psychology? It's a good question, but like, I guess if you're, um, if you're clear about what you should be doing, like if your rules are really clear, then it's very easy to measure how well you follow your rules and therefore how well you're doing psychologically because if you stop following your rules, then there's something that's not right with your mindset. Like you either don't believe in your strategy, that's one thing, um, or you just have not got a strong enough why to have the discipline to, to actually follow through with your rules. Like if, if we put it in a different context, if I said to you, right, if you're okay, like here's a, here's a system, you understand it, um, follow these rules and, you know, in the next few years you become a millionaire. Right, and that's a fact. Let's say we, we speak in those terms, and then you go ahead and you've got the rules and you break them. Well, what's going on there? Like, what, why are you breaking your rules? So that there's, there's something not right. So either self-sabotage, that's one of them. Like, if you firmly believe in what you're doing. Now, the other part is maybe you don't believe in it. Maybe you don't really trust it. So if you don't trust what you're doing, um, then you'll break your rules because as soon as it goes wrong, I, and do you know what? As a, as a good example that I like to give, like this is the best example I think so that people can understand why I'm really, really sort of strong 
in my beliefs about having rules. Like if you, you know, sometimes I ask people, if I took a coin out, and let me ask the question now, if I took a coin out right now and we flipped it heads or tails, you know, what's the probability guys, it's gonna be a heads. Wait, is this one of um, Demi's daily teasers or whatever it's called? I saw yeah, it. Let's, let's call it, yeah, yeah, Frost, Frosty initiated that. Frosty, yeah. <laughs> the daily Demi teaser. What was the question again? What, so if, I, if we flip a coin right now, what's the probability it's going to be a heads or a tails? Fifty-fifty. most people are right. saying. 50-50, right? I would say... Isn't there, isn't there a statistic that tails goes more than heads? Or is that something... It, it shouldn't. If, it, if it's a fair coin and if it's equally sided, if it's equally weighted, it should be 50-50. Okay. Now... Most people know that for a fact. Most people know that for a fact. Now, normally, if you ask somebody, um, they would pretty much be able to give you that answer immediately with confidence, right? With confidence that they know that that's a fact for them. They know it. It's a, it's a mathematical fact. It's 50-50. Now, let me ask you this. If we um, take... Uh, a coin out right now and I start flipping it out and we've got 10 throws right and we get three heads seven tails does that mean that you guys are wrong does it mean that it's not 50 50 let's see what we're, we're all waiting for the answer Well, somebody said no. That's a good start. Yeah, so some, this is a <clears throat> exactly correct. Large numbers will even out. So with infinity, like, you know, you'd expect a 50-50 outcome. Now, why is this really important? Because even if the next 10 were three head, seven tails, most of you, I would say nearly all of you, or maybe all of you would say, well, no, I still trust my system that's 50-50. And so here's what's going to happen. You'll keep trading because you trust what you're, you you trust your system. You believe in it. You, you It's a fact for you, right? It's a fact that it's a 50-50 system. Now, when it comes to trading, sometimes what happens is uh, people have a system that they don't have the same conviction with. They take a few trades, doesn't go as well as it could. And what do they do? What do they do, Gabby? They do the home alone face. <laughs> yeah, but more, but even worse than that, they just change it. They do something else. They add extra things on, they add extra indicators on. And then what happens is the variables change. So you never ever get to see what your system really is like. So that that that's a real, you know, that is in a nutshell a big part of the problem. Like, and so obviously what we try and do is to say, well, look, this is a structure that works because we've done the testing. So like obviously, like things like with the trend line that you use, like the 80% rule and the fibs and the detail. So all these things are adding to your belief about probability. And so by by kind of almost using our confidence in, in that system, you can actually go past, I think Gareth asked it as well, like how do you trust your system? Well, partly you can kind of see that this is what we do, this is what I use. Um, and, you know, if you can learn to do the same type of thing, then your confidence is gonna grow. So it's just about understanding it and being able to use it effectively. And then you will then be as convinced as you are when you're flipping the coin. And that's where you need to get to. If you wanna make money consistently in trading, there's no other way. If you don't believe in what you're doing, as soon as it goes wrong, your brain will say, let's change this. This hurts, this is pain. 
I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something different. Let me look for another course. Let me look for another system. Let me look for another indicator. And the cycle goes on and on and on. Yeah. And I think that seems to be, uh, seems to be ringing home for a lot of people. And, and I guess it's, um, it's just having, yeah, <laughs> having that, cultivating that belief. And, and also, like we said last week, like if you can sit with it and I, and I've had to do that this week again, and it's a constant battle. Like what do you want guys? Like I want to trade a six figure account. And when I looked at that yesterday and I sat with it, I had some blocks and I had some energy blocks and some emotional stuff around that. So I had to work on that and had to release from that. Whatever it is that you want, you have to, if you can visualize it and have complete happiness and congruence in your body, this is a great test guys. Do that test. Ask for what you really want. Not saying that it will come in one year or one day or whatever, but if you don't feel in your body, you will be able to feel now the difference, the energy. Is there any blocks in what you're asking for? And if there is, it's our responsibility to go in and work out what those blocks are and release them. And sometimes we have to go back quite a few years in order to do that. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes we need to have a cry. Sometimes we just need to release. Um, really, really interesting exercise to do that, guys. Um, and once you do it, then you can move on and you get closer to your goals and then you can have a, a, an energetic match to it. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And I, but I think also another thing that people can do, which is um, a different way of doing it, is um, is when you when you want to when you aspire to be something or someone, um, you might want to kind of observe the kind of actions that that would entail you to take. So yes, one way is definitely going back and looking at your your limiting beliefs and you know clearing all that stuff up. But I actually think you know as we say, like habit creates um, results, it ch creates change as well. And sometimes if you think, well, okay, well, what would a professional trader do? And I say this to sometimes to people, like when they say to me, like, okay, so yeah, I want to learn to trade. I want to make, you know, whatever, two, three thousand pounds a month or whatever it is alongside my job. Okay, brilliant. Okay, what are you what are you committed to do that? You know, how, how what's your commitment to get that done, to achieve that? And they don't really know how to answer that. And then, okay, well, right. So then how, how about in terms of, you know, investment? What, what are you willing to invest? Uh, $200? Okay, well, is that congruent with your goal? Like that that saying to the world, I'm, a, I'm and I'm not saying, by the way, I don't want to come across the wrong way. I don't, I'm not saying like, obviously, some people have only got $200, but I honestly believe that everyone is has got the resourcefulness to find solutions when the goal is big enough. But that's the double edged sword, because if the goal is just a little bit too big and they really don't believe it and they're trying to kid themselves, this whole fake it till you make it. B.S. Basically. What? Um, Level up. You're pushing, it away. you're pushing it away. Right. But then there's going to be other people. And I'll say this now to be balanced, a complete other end of the spectrum. OK, but it's easy for you. You, you don't have to worry about money anymore. So it's easy for you to say to follow your rules because you don't have to worry about money anymore, right? There's going to be people that that say that. It's a, it's a fair. I mean, have you, I mean, is there a time when you've had to really kind of trust in and dig in to that? Look, um, one of the things that I always say to people, if you can, don't leave your job until you're making enough money because, you know, you're, you know, having that security allows you to actually trade. Uh, without that sort of burden of having to make money so and then once you've done that for long enough um, you don't really need it anymore so it's much much easier like it, I've got to say it's tough if you are going into trading and then all of a sudden relying on that as your main source of income um, that makes life um, probably 10 times harder like, because you're now saying, well, I've got rent to pay, I've got bills to pay, I've got, you know, things I need to do. Um, but 
you've got to then think objectively when you're trading. So how do you do that? Um, and you say, I, don't, I mean, you say, I don't, I mean, you, I mean, I have, of course, I've built assets up, but I need the liquid cash that I generate. Um, that's my living, right? So I've got, and I, and I think as you earn more money, you you have more expenses. So I don't I don't think it's actually completely accurate that I don't need to make money. I do, otherwise I wouldn't trade, right? I just sit on my feet. But I mean, I I still need to earn money to pay my way, right? So um, so I don't I, I don't think I think it's it's just being able to I think having the personality that you have built up over the years or over time to be able to handle all situations and so i can really be very very you know objective when i take a trade like i won't jump into stuff that in general by the way i'm talking in general like obviously we're human beings and we might make mistakes sorry mate go ahead You're gonna say i was something. just scratching my leg as i'm, oh, I'm trying, trying, this, really trying to just get in underneath the hood of the car and maybe we've gone in too much in the psychology stuff because there's obviously other things that we want to people want us to talk about but i just i just want to get into your head as much as possible and try and pull that out and kind of and kind of give that give that give that advice just spread that spread that knowledge and hopefully some of it hits home and well, you know try well, and make it what people are struggling with the most i mean it'd be interesting to hear from somebody like if they i don't know if they Sab is uh, struggling from V8. <laughs> How much does it cost you to fill up your Aston Martin? It's a good question. I never let it go to zero, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> uh, I normally like at sort of half, three quarters of a tank, half a tank. Tony's saying discipline. But I think that's now why, and I get it, I get a lot of this now. Like when I came came back to trading, for me to be able to do something daily again is great. Someone asked about the Amazon thing and it was um private label. So we were creating our own products. Um, and we can go into that another time or you can message can I me. Need to talk for a minute. I need, to just, I need to go off for two to one minute. You can carry on talking about your Amazon. You're you're good, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious actually, by the way. I'll be like one, one minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, Gavin's gonna take over the show, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Wow. So you weren't you weren't joking about actually leaving. I think you said in a comment, that's it, you're done. He's retired. He's put his feet up, guys. But yeah, I mean, look, let's just have a chat now. What is everybody, what are people doing? What are the things that people are doing? There's people here that are making money from trading. Great. Um, maybe you're here because you're just interested in trading. You don't know that much about it. And we know that there's obviously quite a lot of people like that. But what are some of the things that you guys are looking at doing for uh, for extra cash? <laughs> Curry for dinner is such a bad idea. Yeah, we'll have to tell him that. We'll have to find out what he ate for dinner. I'm not sure I really want to think about that. Yeah, so what are some of the things that you guys have done? For me, the whole, um, I think for me, one number that was great, it was a really good number for me, it was 2,740. And if you if you want to build a seven-figure business, anybody know why that number is significant? Yeah, probably is a toilet break. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. So 2,740 is significant because for me, when I got to a level, I was just like, if I can build a seven figure Amazon business, it's going to change my life. And 2,740 pounds a day in sales is what you need to make a day to make a seven figure business. And that started with baby steps as well. It was like, okay, someone said Fibonacci. No, it might be, there might be another one, but 2,740 is the number you need in daily sales or daily income to make a million pounds a year. And for me, it started off just one sale and we were low, low, um, low price products. So it was more about turn rate. And, and, and if you understand how shops work with that, so turn rate versus cost. So we needed to move um, a lot of products. Um, and first you get the first sale in, then you get 
50 pounds a day. And then it was like oh, 100 pounds a day. 100 pounds a day is, and now it's, that's pretty good. You're making like 700 pounds a week. And then you just start pushing it. And then you have that belief when you build, like, I think it's the success cycle. I think, what is it that confidence breeds um, action, action breeds success, success breeds more confidence. I might be paraphrasing that or completely butchering it, but yeah, it's really interesting. And then you just build up and build up. And then I remember the first time I was like, wow, if I can get over a thousand pounds a day in sales, that will be freaking awesome. And then you just keep pushing it up 1500 a month. And then it's like, then I was like, my belief, my brain started believing. And I was like, what does it take to make a million pounds a year? A million pounds a year turnover, seven figure business, 2,740 pounds a day in sales. And you just start focusing on that. And at one point it was too big and I had to just release from that. Um, it was really, really interesting. And then you just keep going again. And then you get to 1750 and then you stick a bit and then it goes down to 1500. You're like, why? I've been focusing on this. The law of attraction says I just need to want it and then it will come. And then you break 2000 and then it's, yeah, you know the story from there, guys. So um, hopefully that was a good interlude on the toilet break. We're all taking bets on what. Who, you who was to talking to Benjamin? Facebook. So we don't know your name. But what I will say just quickly about the whole Amazon thing was what I didn't realize is a physical products business is so cash intensive, even more cash intensive than Andy, than running Andy's Aston Martin. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, because I, I, could, I don't think I could do it. All your profit margins. This is what they don't tell you. All your profit margins. If you're going to keep to that same level, you have to reinvest most of that money. If you want to keep growing and do, 5,000 a day or whatever, you've got to have as much inventory to be able to do those sales. And then if you miss plan, you're out of stock, then you go way down, excuse me, way down on Amazon's algorithm. And then you have to start again. And it's just, it's, it's an absolute nightmare. Physical products, you make a sale and then you have to worry about, you have to worry about so many things. And I remember the biggest order that we signed for was three, $306,000 and it was only recently that I've reworked it out. Um, my business partner actually did it and he was like, look, $306,000, we paid for that and we won't get any money back out of that for six months. The product life cycle is by the time you have manufacturing, you have shipping, it has to go through customs and we're paying out money all through those steps. It's not until it gets to the end user that we actually get the money and it's like, six months it takes me to get a return on that what 20 percent, 25 percent. whereas if you can learn to do something like this then it's like okay well even if i'm making and it worked out to be about two and a half percent a month profit margin so can i make can i learn to make more than two and a half percent a month through something else and then it was just a no-brainer to to come back to trading put my tail between my legs and i was like yeah, Andy, I, I've done some courses before. I, I don't need to do the beginner. And I'm so grateful that you made me go on that program, mate, because I thought I, I thought I learned a lot of stuff. And people have said to me, what was the program that you did before? And it was just it was just a, a weekend with a little bit of support, but nothing major. And I was basically, I look back on it now compared to what I've been taught. And I, <laughs> I was spread betting and I was pretty much gambling, to be honest. It was just, yeah, it was crazy. And I'm so grateful now to know about support resistance, trend lines, channels. I don't think I ever drew a channel back then like 12 plus years ago. I didn't even really know what it was. And I just thought, oh, candlestick formation. I see a candlestick formation on the chart. I'll trade off a candlestick formation. I still remember it now. And it was like, why didn't it work? The book said that the candlestick formation, it was there and it was just like, and it was just like, okay, you have to learn to piece this all together. Multiple time frames is another big thing. And it was just, yeah, I'm really, really grateful for for you insisting on that and me kind of dropping my tail and dropping my ego and saying, okay, I can, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. I'll trust you. So yeah, we no, want to we know, mate, we want to know what was it? Toilet break? Yeah, basically. <laughs> no, and also to be honest, it was two, two reasons. The, the, uh, the other one was my cat was going crazy outside the door. <laughs> really? Yeah. So I, I had to go downstairs. Fair enough. With Amazon, unless you know who your manufacturers are. Yeah, so I would travel. Like I have 
had suppliers in America, in China. Um, and again, just making sure the quality control is another issue. And if you have inventory at hand, you have no clue whether you will sell or not. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But even then with Amazon, they push you. And like another big thing is once you get to a certain level and you get quite well established, Amazon will want to sell for you. And we said, no, thank you very much. We've got our own plan. And then they start targeting you and coming after you. But that's for another conversation. We should have brought the cat in, mate. Yeah, well, she, she, I'm sure she'll be back in a minute. I'll bring What's her in. Comes back. What's her name? <laughs> You're going to laugh, mate. <laughs> Rafa. Rafa uh, Benitez. I was going to say, we should have had a guess what that was for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if I, if well, I doubt we're going to get another pet, but Jürgen will definitely be the name. <laughs> um, cool. you know, we're actually, is it, we're an hour in. Do you realise that? I, I've just realised that. Look, guys, we um, we could have got we could have got and just gone straight to the surprise and the information that we're going to share. But we wanted to keep this show for value because we know that there's people that can't take action. Totally for sure, you can't take action, guys. And we respect that. We still want to give you value in the show, even if you're there. But for the people that want to get off the sidelines and they want to get involved, um, I'm going to see if I can make Andy cry now because I've been pushing on this. Yeah, we, are we doing this now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just let's just do it. The show's out of the way. The content's out of the way. I yeah, want and to, I, 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 to find, I still need to go through a trade right after. Yeah. We're, and, and we'll stick around. We'll stick around. We've just gone in a bit longer on the, the psychology side, but I feel that it's been important. I feel like to give you guys value, it's um, it's been something that we need because whether you do something with us, whether you do something by yourself, that's completely your call. If it's not in front of you to do anything, even the stuff that we speak about, no worries, but just do what's in front of you. So the reason why Andy's going to be crying is because for those of you that want to learn how to do this properly and start where I started a few months ago with the with the basics and build up, we're going to put together a Black Friday bundle. Yes, we have to join in the Black Friday um, scenario and situation. But basically, the long and short of it is if you come on board with the beginner program, we're going to chuck in the advanced program for free. And there's some other bonuses as well. Um, you get six months of the indicators that Andy uses every week on the trades. Uh, and also we're doing a Monday masterclass, which was only going to be for some some of our VIP students. Um, but actually now we're opening that up. So next Monday, what we're just about to do now, Pips, like a is it this, it's this Monday, isn't it? Yeah. 30th, yeah. Yeah. This Monday coming. I don't know where yeah. the time is. It's the 30th already, but that's a whole yeah. other conversation. That, so what he does for 15 minutes, he's going to do for two hours. And imagine the amount of setups and trades that you're going to be able to go away with. So I think... We're posting the link and we're sending some emails out as well, right? During the show. Yeah. Who's posting it? Me? You? Yeah. I haven't got any. <laughs> oh, really? We should have planned that a bit better then, shouldn't we, really? Yeah. Well, there is. Well, basically, why don't you get, um, if people have got questions, and I will see if I've got the link. Okay. Well, I'll fill in for time just very briefly. And it will only be a couple of minutes. We respect your time and we want to honor the integrity of the show. But we yeah. will we are going to give you this information because we truly believe in it. And we know it will help you if you are serious about your trading. Why not do it on a Black Friday deal? So three three months support. And coaching, it's online videos, so you get to go at your own pace. Obviously, you've got a job. If you haven't got a job, you can just throw yourself in. Um, there's live weekly calls with the man, the myth, the legend, Andy Demi himself. Um, which you get for six months support. Um, and one of the great things is that if you learn... There. Okay, great, perfect. If you learn... So click on the link, guys. If you learn the system and the rules and you build that belief, Andy's willing to put his money where his mouth is and he'll give you access to a live funded account of 10,000 US dollars because we want you to start trading. Even if you don't have that much money, you need to have some skin in the game because you can only do demos for so long. And one of the big things that I speak about is people try and do stuff for free. Completely get that. Completely respect that. If you're still in that mindset, please, we're going to give you as much free information as possible. Go on YouTube. Go on uh, Instagram and do all of that. But just bear in mind that your success potential as a trader is broken down into three key areas. Psychology. Massive, massive amount. 50% of your success potential comes down to your psychology, which is why... 
we've spent so long on psychology. Yes, we've overrun, but we don't mind going into that psychology side because it's so important and we, keep, we, we still will keep doing that. The next stage, risk management, understanding risk management, not just about, oh, okay, what's my risk reward ratio? That's easy. Once you learn that, that's the basics in the beginner stuff, but timing your entry, because if you can get a better price, as Andy's showing, then it means you don't have to place such a big stop. If you can have a smaller stop loss, then you can increase your lot size or your points um, per pip if you're spread betting. You will make more money. As you make more money, you get more freedom, and then you can do what you want. 15%, one second, mate, 15% of your success potential is strategies. And it's nuts that that's everything that is on YouTube. Strategies, strategies, it's exciting. It's, or I don't know if I should say it, sexy. Strategies are sexy and they're exciting and you get to lose yourself in them and they're great. But if you don't have psychology and risk management in place. On a serious, I mean, you're absolutely right, Gav. And, but the, the biggest, I mean, for me, the biggest thing that people need is support when they're stuck. And I know that when you, when I completed my first ever program, as you guys know, um, you know, many, many years ago, 17 years ago, you had no support and you know this as well for yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No no. Support. You're like, okay, let me see if I can remember all the stuff that I've just learned. I've just been on this intensive two day course, spent two and a half grand, well, more than my money, but still. <laughs> <laughs> still amazing. If you don't know, Andy, Andy got a loan from his future mother-in-law to do his yeah. first training course. That was a, that was a risky move, mate. That was a risky move. It was a risky move. And he has paid her back yeah. as well, you know, plus interest. Yeah, no, I gave her a tenner back. That's enough. I bought her a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did pay her back. People will think I'm cheap. No, do you know what? Um, and that was the thing as well. It's like whenever you get stuck, you're like thinking, well, who can I ask? And then the natural thing, obviously back then you can do that, but now people go and Google, they ask in forums. And I'll be honest with you, even um, even in our group, just being transparent, sometimes you know, I'm not going to say names and stuff, but I was reading in our group, like somebody saying like, oh, you know, I've blown five accounts up. And then by the same token, they're, they're advising somebody what to do. So, and I mean, like, obviously, you know, I've lost money. I mean, I'm not saying I've had bad times. But obviously, I've come out the other side now, so I think I'm I'm okay to advise people. But you know, if you're not successful and you you're struggling and you're losing money all the time, and you're not on the right path, well, you know, I mean, you don't really want to be taking advice from that person, right? It's like you know, you want to be taking advice from people that are playing the game at the level that you want to play at, or better, like really that simple. So. I think, I mean, I will do that for as many people as I can, but obviously my priority has to be the students, you know, that I've invested in themselves. So, you know, any question, there's no, there's no, there's no question they can ask me that I'm not going to be happy to answer. Um, and that's, that's the, the most important thing um, for me. That I there's think a question, need. I have a question for you. <laughs> Oh. What do we do to what do we need to do to get this offer? So the link's there. We, we need posted to get the, the link. Ben, where's Benjamin Brown? There he is. The man who never shows his face. <laughs> he's a legend. Kaiser, so I was a Ben Brown, if you can hear us, post so the yeah, link. Click, click on the click on the link, guys. Um and also no, just actually, no, it's a good point, actually. Um sorry Kevin to interrupt you. Um on, because um Obviously, all of our students that are already on the program um, will have received an email as well um, because they have got something special just for them. And that's going to be unique to them. So if you guys check your emails, if you're already a student um, who, you know, if you've been considering doing the advanced course, then this is your opportunity. This is the best. Um, I mean, it's just stupid. And, and like, I know we, we spoke about this before and I was very uncomfortable. I've spent, you don't even know how much time and energy and money I've spent to develop this stuff. Um, but I, at the end of the day, we're in it to help people. 
but of course people need to commit to themselves and i know like sometimes people will be like well you know why don't we just give it all for free but this this it's not even just about that it's not it's not even firstly economically that doesn't make sense but secondly i don't know about you guys but whenever you've been given something for free you very rarely use it i know that's the case for myself whenever i've never done it really i have but downloaded stuff like if you've ever downloaded stuff i never use it because i've got no commitment to it so for me sometimes that's part of your you know your your mental commitment to to do something and you know and and for for me that that's that's a really important step and a really a really important part um yeah I think they've proven, it. They, they've proven it in psychology, mate, that if you're not invested, um, then you won't take action. And even no. like they've shown it statistically on how many people buy books um, or even audibles now, I'm sure it's the same, but they don't get through the first chapter. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy, even though there's so much information in that book. In that book. Um, but we're getting a lot of questions about how long will the deal be on for. Um, it's, it's four days, Black Friday weekend, right? Well, it's actually until Monday because yeah. obviously we have the masterclass um, on Monday. Yeah. Okay, cool. So look. Um, I don't know what the question is. Sorry? Um, this question, I don't know what that means. There's no – so the, the advanced course is um, – Oh, welcome on board, Scott. Great to have you, mate. Um, you're going to love the journey, I'm sure. We've we've spoken a bit, but the 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 advanced course. If you've kind of seen some of the things that I go through, like market angles, Fibonacci, um, you know, we go we cover volatility bands. That's 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 normally its its own course, um, and it's normally for people that have already got a really good solid base um, and it's kind of like the next step if you want to take that next step so a lot of the times you know you don't have to but in this case we are just saying well we'll make you like we'll give you that next step essentially by by joining us now so it is seriously a no-brainer um, and like I said for the for our students we've also sent them a special um offer as well that they can have a look at this one made me laugh i think we've got del boy joining us in the show this week never had a freebie try me this time andy i think we've explained why that won't work um because it look it is it's going to be it's going to test you it's going to test you emotionally um and physically and mentally um and you need to be invested in this otherwise you, you know some people will they won't follow through they won't follow through and we want to we want to help you guys as much as we can but you've got to be invested in this you know andy's proven in the free group just what he gives the support in the free group if you're committed to this you're going to get that support and we'll do our best to help you get to your your trading and your lifestyle goals and i just want to say one thing um and then i'm done on the advanced program um that's what's helped me live with you on the one-on-one -on -one coaching is that introduction like i know that there's some stuff in there that no one else is talking about and you're really humble so i probably won't get you to say it but the only reason why i managed to convince him and why he still might still cry was um was because he, <laughs> the video the examples that he filmed like this is tried and tested techniques but the videos that you film the examples are old and i was like well if you just film new examples then you can charge full price for the course but he wouldn't he's too busy so therefore there is a consequence mr deming and that's why the old, the information is pure gold but the uh the examples are like a few years old on the videos but these are tried and tested techniques guys you're going to get strategies you're going to understand the market angles um and fibonacci is a massive massive one so people have been saying how do i learn more about fibonacci but you can't just go to the advanced program guys you just can't do it so don't do that. That's why we've decided to bundle it together. If you're serious and you want to get off the sidelines, great. If you don't have the money or it's not for you, that's also great. Do what's in front of you guys. And we mean that. But for the ones that yeah, want to... Yeah, no, that's, that's very true. Yeah. I don't want people sort of um, doing something that's not financially right for them. But in terms of like us... Sorry, I interrupted you, mate. 
I just you really do it, like You do it a couple of times the shows and you've only done it, you haven't done it today. So that was the first time. So I'm quite impressed, mate. I'm oh, quite well, impressed. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I try and catch myself doing that. I don't like to do that. Um, no, and it's true. Like it is a no-brainer. Like if you're if you're in that position and you're ready for this mentally, um, you know you'll you will, you know you'll be. I think you'll be blown away by what you learn um, throughout the whole process. But the bigger the biggest thing is, like I said, it is the it's the journey, the support, and we are going to all be friends. It's like that. I mean, we're. I can't you, promise that. I can't promise I'll be friends with everyone. Anyone but... who joins the course and is with us, we're friends. It's simple as that. And there will be. We absolutely promise you there will be something that we do for the LTI students in London um, as soon as this lockdown malarkey is done. We'll awesome. organise. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring some fine wine selected by my uncle. I was going to say, get your uncle's wine in. Wow. No joke, mate. I will. I mean, I, I, will have have the the wine. I will literally <laughs> say to him, right, guys, we're having a party. Um, please go and get me some wine. He's going to go to the auctions, but get me the best wines, and then we'll open them up. Yeah? Does yeah. that sound good? I might, we can get some, what should we get? Cheese and crackers? <laughs> Very sophisticated. But um, no, but Frosty, I will definitely have a beer for you there as well, mate. I don't want to leave you out. Maybe we should do a competition. Gareth said he's given me an idea. Whoever gets the highest figures over three months can get to drive your Aston Martin. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> so happen. you're okay, so you're gonna chuck in the expensive wine, but no drive in the Aston. We know yeah. where his limits are now, guys. We know where his limits are. Um, yeah, that's that's um, yeah, that's we're talking about like 500 quid bottles, mate. We're not talking about 10, <laughs> 20 quid from, or five quid from Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, mate. If I've got to contribute to the wine, it might be, buddy. It might well be, but yeah, that's cool. People are asking about the funding as well. Um, realistically, you can get up to forty thousand dollars in your first year of funding. And that is on a 50-50 split. There's more information that we can tell you about that. As you go up, the funding goes up to $300,000. Um, and then you're starting to make really good money. And then the percentages swing over to you because you're less risk. At the moment, some of you are going to be complete newbies. So to even put $10,000 on you and back you by using the strategies of the London Trading Institute is a bit of a gamble. But like Andy said, he's got to take risks. I um, mean, he's willing to take a risk in you. So... Go to the link um, for the full bundle. Um, you'll see all of all of everything in there. There's tons of value. I think it's over twenty four thousand pounds of value for one thousand seven hundred ninety seven. So there, that's the selly bit. We're done. The sales bit is there for the people that want to take action. We get a lot of questions. How can I get involved? What can I do? So that's why we've done this Black Friday bundle. It's yeah, available I mean, for four days. I'm going to interrupt you again. So that's your second one. Don't forget, and that's I'm second one. Advice, but it's for your own good and for the people's good um no because some people may have questions or doubts or not sure what's the best way to do this is it reaching out to you um, yeah message message me and um, we'll post a link for some calls i'll post the link shortly while andy's we'll doing it in the group anyway yeah but that you can that you can private message gavin or just send him a message yeah. on facebook exactly that if you want to if you want to reach out and speak to me and hear about my whole journey, then yeah, message me directly and we can speak over, over the next four days. Um, and we'll put a link out to, to have a call or you can just literally, if you're ready to I take a 15 minute call in four days. Say what? I think they were just thinking of a 15 minute call, not four days. You said you we just speak over the next four days. I'll video time you as I go down the beach. It's all good. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. The time difference might be an issue, but, We'll, we'll keep it sweet. It'll be worth four days of your time. Nobody really wants you. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Let's stay anonymous, mate. You've got a secret admirer. <laughs> it's been a long while since I've had who, one of those. Who is it? Come on, tell us. Pleasure, Alina. Great to have you here. Good, good question. This one, Ash. Based on your material and strategies, what is your monthly targeting percentage? Well, my personal one or like um, in, I mean what you should be aiming for is what you're comfortable in terms of risking 
So like I've said this quite a few times to people, like your return is a reflection of two things, your skill set and your risk appetite. So if you are risking what we suggest, which is a maximum of 10% a month, then the minimum you should be making is 10% a month. Um, if your risk appetite is lower, so if you're risking five, you should be aiming for five. But when you improve your skill set, you can risk five to make 10. And anything under a million pound account is achievable at that rate. Like I think as you grow and, you be, and you're trading millions, for example, uh, perform like returns tend to drop because risk tends to drop because you don't need to earn as much. So hedge funds, for example, if they're, you know, they're not looking to make 10% a month in general. Most hedge funds are happy to earn 30% a year because there's like, you know, potentially 200 million, 500 million under management. So it doesn't make sense. You're not going to be risking the same way. But yeah, good question. But it, it's really down to your, and, and that's something we can work on, but it's down to your appetite. And so if you're not willing to risk it, don't expect to make the return consistently. You know, somebody the other day said to me, um, I, I, yeah, I only want to make two grand a month. And I said, okay, how much are you investing? And they said, well, probably 500 quid. I might be able to stretch it to a thousand. So, well, therefore you're, you're making 200% a month. Does that sound realistic? I mean, that's ludicrous, right? But, but then people have these expectations and it doesn't make any, any logical sense. So, you know, and sometimes Gavin, I know we're, we're running way late, but sometimes people, you know, um, you know, somebody might double their account or triple their account and then they may sort of show me or they say, well, look, this person's doubled their account, so they must be good. No, it's not about being good or bad. It's about saying, well, yes, you can double an account, but you've probably risked that account as well. And if you've done it on 200 pounds or 300 pounds or 500 pounds where it's money that doesn't matter, that's one thing. But what if I give you, what if you traded 100 grand or 200 grand or 500 grand? Are you going to double a quits? It's not, doesn't really work like that. So you, remember, guys, you are setting up a business. This is what you're doing. This is a business. And if you want to make serious money from trading, I mean, seriously, like I can't, I wish I could. I don't know, like, and maybe sometimes it's people need to just keep seeing and, and believing, but like, I wish I could kind of like instill what's inside of me, my mental attitude. Like if you could see what, how your life could change, you'd, you wouldn't even think twice about committing yourself to do this. That's the honest truth. But sometimes when you don't have that, um, you don't have that guarantee. Yeah. Um, some you've got to find something inside you to say, well, do you know, like the way I always look at it, it's like, what's it going to cost me, and what's the potential? And if if the potential outweighs the cost, then it's worth doing it. And I and I take that approach to not just investments but any any decision like what's it going to cost me like for example what's it going to cost me if i stay up until one in the morning watching netflix what's it going to cost me the next day i don't know maybe a, a 15 grand trade for example because i won't be up to get to take it so maybe i won't do that on during the week but i might do it on a saturday because on a saturday it's just going to cost me a bit of sleep and i might be tired for the day so you just got to out see if, if the return outweighs that cost and then you say well it's worth doing it's worth taking the risk and that's from a totally logical left brain point of view and 100 percent agree with that keeps coming down to you guys is this in front of you from what you've seen in the group do you want to learn how to do something like that no no one's going to promise you that you're going to get to andy's level but the opportunity is there it, the completely opportunity is there. Does it feel right for you? Is this what's in front of you right now? Or is it just to keep going in the group and just watching? Again, that's on you. That's your decision and your journey. But it will be a, a, an awesome journey. And I also want to say, because we understand COVID, there's uncertainty. So what we're going to do is we'll split. We're offered to split the payments over three months, yeah. right? Yeah, you can do it over three months. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, 
we're, we're going to try and help out as much as we can. So you can split the payments over three months for all the Black Friday bundles. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> check out the uh, check out the links. So look, um, I think, uh, yes, I am still in Australia. Um, yeah, hundred uh, percent. And do you know what? Sorry, Gavin. Like, there's no reason why people can't uh, can't get to the same level or better. There's no there's no reason, right? Only only their sort of own limitations. Like, I mean, let's be let's sort of call it as it is. Like, this is not your background. Right. I mean, I dedicated, for example, you know, pretty much most of my working life to be good at this. And within a very short period of time, I've got to take my hat off you, to you. I'm not wearing a hat, but I'll take it off if I was wearing one. Like, you know, your, your progress has been exceptional. So it's like it just shows me. And I was actually saying I mentioned you in the coaching today because we were talking about a trade setup and I. Actually, we haven't even done the analysis, have we? Jesus well, Christ. We're getting, yeah, we're getting okay, into we're getting there. Right, okay. Well, well. anyway, I better get on then because uh, yeah, yeah. Be honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to cover the Australian dollar because I haven't got another one, but I'm going to do it step by step. Okay. But, I, yeah, you, yeah, but I, I was just saying the it was very, very interesting that you came up with the same conclusion as me. Like, and I did it with Afi two days before when I was coaching it. So... It was, I was like, wow, this is, my mind was blown at such a short period of time that you could get to that level. And it, and it made me believe everybody could do it. Everybody can do it to that level. There's no reason why they can't. And, and, you know, I think, thank you for that. Firstly, I take that. I mean, I'm putting myself, it's like, for me, on the accelerated course that I'm, that I'm very grateful to be on, it's like learning how to drive, guys. And you just keep pushing. And I could just sit and rest on my laurels, but I want, to do this as a business so i want to get as good as i can and push myself and i'm just grateful that you put me on the basic program mate because the foundation for everything was that and i'm glad i didn't let my ego get in the way um and then then i could understand i had to watch the advanced course quite a few times but then that started to sink in and then now i'm at the level where i can put this into practice but mate we've got to get on with the uh with the uh setup of the week because i've got my speedos on mate and i'm ready to go for a swim it's absolutely beautiful outside. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> yeah, as long as you uh, post a video of that later. <laughs> no chance, mate. <laughs> uh, somebody's asking for the link. I don't, uh, ben, if the you link to my speedos. Yeah, link to, to your Facebook Live when you're yeah, in check, your... check out my Instagram page. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to do this one quite quickly um there you go somebody's posted it cool time for a photo and look i've resized it this week so hopefully i don't have to stroke your head and tap on your head okie dokie let's do a screen share okay so yeah this is um this is quite a good one um i know we've um We've briefly mentioned it before, but I think it's good to sort of see the whole picture. So, um, okay, so we're looking at the Australian dollar, guys. And as I always do, I like to start with the higher time frames. And I'll be honest, normally I don't go to the monthlies, but um, because of um, I was when I was coaching, uh, we happened to do this work, so it makes it you know useful to see this because these lines here that you're seeing, these are my auto lines. So this is basically the, the system essentially uh, going up and picking up the key, key levels. And then um, what I've done here is I have basically identified the correct channel line and then used it uh, to find other hidden levels of support and resistance. So uh, you can see how well this reacts. And then so what we have now is we have a line that this is a sort of like a valid line that's holding right on a very, very key area here. Now, obviously this can break, but the thing that we need to know is that there's going to be a lot of resistance there and that can give you opportunities. So that's kind of like the backdrop. Therefore, in my head, what I'd be looking for then is 
I want to take advantage of that battle going on. And so then we move over. So this is the weekly. Uh, you can see a bit clearer. And if you zoom in, this again, these are automatic lines on the weekly. Look where we are, guys. So I've got like a double channel line that I've drawn in. Again, just kind of having done the work. And, and we've also got a double resistance area on the weekly. So again, this here is telling me that there's going to be some sort of push, at least, even if it's just short term, uh, Gavin, you can still make money from that, as I've been telling you. So even if it's just short term, there there's going to be likely to be a push. So again, in my head, I'm thinking, OK, there should hopefully be an opportunity to sell this somewhere. Um, and then we have a daily chart. Now, I have basically identified a really, really great position here. Um, we have our daily level, again, automatically drawn, 74.50. And we have, um, this is a, a basically a, uh, a market angle channel line. And so, again, I have confluence there. Now, th this one here has not pulled back fully, I don't think, to its 38. It's very, very close. So what might happen, and I'm very aware of it, is it could. this could push a little bit higher. Um, and you've got, like, this zone here, which is 75.60, okay, which is, you know, uh, a little bit higher basically so if you want to be ultra safe on this trade um, that's really where you're going to have the most amount of protection if you're behind that which is quite a big stop uh, for this type of trade now that that doesn't make sense mathematically but if you can kind of find a trade where we, for example, let's say tomorrow we have the DTR there, and let's say, you know, you want to try and find a stop. Well, you've got two options. You can go there or you can go there. I mean, I don't want to get too advanced on this one, but I would, I would, I would initially place my stop up here. Um, even though on paper that looks like a reward to risk less than one to one, which is not what the textbooks teach you to do. But I can tell you most professionals, you know, are not worried about reward to risk. They're worried about the P&L in their bank account. And that's so for me, I would be placing my sell there, probably my stop there and most likely a target there. Um, but I'd be basically risking uh, about 2% on this trade. But on top of that, I would set alerts so that I'm alerted like when I'm at my 1%, when I'm at my half a percent, one and a half percent. So that means that I can do something about this trade and very, very rarely will I get stopped out for 2%. I mean, probably 1 in 20, like roughly. So it's it's a rarity, but it's a, it is a safety net for me. So uh, it's there because it's like, well, actually, you think it's increasing risk, but actually it's reducing risk, and that's the power of it because what's, what's, what happens sometimes is – the market, and I don't know if anybody, maybe people can post yes if this has happened to them. You get the direction right, you get spiked out, and then bang, goes to the target. What, has that happened to people before? I mean, it used to happen to me all the time. It rarely happens now. So, like, I've got enough time to react. So, you know, if, if you don't want to be spiked out, because there's a high probability based on what we've done here, then you've got to find the, the safest place to place your stop. And then 
but then you've got to be active and, you, and this is not for beginners i'm going to say this right now this is not a beginner strategy and i don't want people to do this um at the early stages not what until we built the plan together so i'm just telling you transparently what i would do um interesting interesting mate i am um... Look, this is really, really interesting information. We've still got people on the line. I don't really have to go to the beach straight away. So I'm happy if you're willing to just give a bit more. What's that? Is that the daily that you're on? This is the, this one's a four hour now, mate. And like, um, and this kind of brings us up to the next. Okay. Yeah. If you can just, if you can just give a bit more information about this, because this, I find this stuff fascinating. I'm sure people that are here do as well. So if you can just give a little bit more, I'd love to just find out your thoughts on um on H4 and H1 if possible. Yeah. Yeah, so this one, I mean, the, the lower time frame is a little bit tricky. I think we, we touched upon it on the coaching session today. I'll tell you why, because um, we've basically got a situation where we haven't pulled back to the 38 now it's but then it's it's also it's it's had it's got quite close to it and this is like a gray area right it's not quite pulled back but it's it's um it's close to it so then you're kind of got left with that dilemma um do we think that this is going to stop here or do we think that maybe it's going to be an overextension to the 200? Now, where the, the, here's the thing about this is that that's 75.25. So if you go back to the daily, I suggested that we put our stop above that anyway. So if we got this wrong, and let's say we sold it in this zone here because – You've got the 1618 with the 200 confluence, and we'll, we'll just say that that's where it's going to stop. Okay, so we'll sell it. And obviously, I want the DTR to be there as well. So tomorrow's DTR has to be around there for me to take the trade. But let's just say the, the DTR is there, we sell it here. Um, if we're wrong, here's what's probably going to happen you're probably going to overshoot here get to the 200 and then you'll have some sort of like pullback there that's what normally typically happens that the overshoot and then a pullback to the 200 now that basically normally would allow us to scratch the trade so we've taken a trade and we pretty much can come out of it for free so basically a trade that i might be able to net a couple of percent out of that trade um, I normally if I'm wrong can get out for free so like I said it's I mean it's it's got to be something absolutely crazy for this to do that and completely take my stop out but even then if it does that I'm two percent down that's not ideal by the way but it's not I've not lost my account, right? I mean, that can be recovered on the next trade. So it's not like a big, big deal. But the point is, is that I'm going to get more of these winners than not. Definitely more than 50% that will win. And when we're wrong, I mean, this, this, the last two, three months, I mean, it's been crazy. I've, I've, I've probably had one or two losers out of about 25 trades. It's just been insane. But it's, it's not going to work like that every, every month. But, you know, so so the point I'm trying to say here is you've got to play the game smart. You can't you can't sit there and just say, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to read the textbook, I'm going to put my stop just above the high. Everyone does that, and everybody gets stopped out, and, and most people lose money. So you've got to be smart and change the game so that it, so that the odds are, are in your favour. So when you're wrong, you don't lose money. Or yeah but it, even um and to bring it back to the beginner level <clears throat> one thing that you said because obviously with your background trading at hedge funds and 
the support and resistance and really learning that you were even just a simple thing of like where to place your pips or your stop loss in pips knowing how the institutions work and where they're going to be going fishing yeah that's another level yeah that's a different but, thing yeah but i learned that on the basic program that you put that in there and i was just like wow that's like that's like some jedi stuff so yeah it's um this has been really interesting and i keep learning and i know everybody else is going to be getting value as well it's um it's really really interesting mate is there anything else that you want to kind of cover off on this with regards no, to this? i mean i mean look i guess the, the 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 thing to note here is that even if you don't know how to do some of the more advanced stuff if you've got the indicators you can see right like well, you should once you learn, like you can see, look, this is these are your daily levels, right? They're there, and then and then there's a big gap. So one of the really cool things as well is that once your daily level breaks and there's a gap, well, it's probably now not coming back. Like it's it's probably gonna head to to this level, and that could happen, by the way. So and it could also happen with us making money. This is this is great. I want to say this last thing, Gavin. Don't be surprised if we get into a trade, make money, and that happens. And like, because like sometimes, you know, we might say, oh, you know, what's going to happen? You know, what's the what's the trade idea? But sometimes you don't you don't even need to know. You just need to understand the psychology of where you are in the market. So like the context, understand the context, find high probability zones, make money and let everybody else worry about what it's doing next. Like literally when I take my trade and I cash out, I just, I normally just, I just shut it down. I just shut my platform down and just get on with my day. They sometimes they even look at it for a couple of days. I've banked that and I'm like, okay, I've done my job. If I take a little loss, I, I will look again. I will just make sure I'm very, very intentional about making my PL for the month. I'll just do what's necessary to get my PL and I don't force it. I, I hunt for trades, but I don't force it. Does that make sense? Does that, to, to everybody, does that make sense? Like, there's a real difference. We haven't done a plug for the algorithm. So yeah, if you can uh, if you can just say, let us know if that makes sense, yes. If it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, you haven't done a plug for the algorithm. Please, we, we need our comment squad. Uh, just put who, in- who, who this place with you now? I like him already. Say what? <laughs> what was that, mate? That, I don't know who Facebook user is, but I like him. <laughs> My awesome. pleasure, whoever you are. Okay, people are saying, yep, it's making sense. They like hunting. That's one of the things I love doing this analysis because it's like you're going like, it's like being a kid again, going hunting for treasure or Easter eggs or something, but obviously worth a lot more. Yeah, that's it. And like you just wait and you just take the best trades, make your money and that's it. Let everybody else worry about the rest of it we just keep it simple um it really is like i know what we do isn't simple to a beginner let's say but now that for example you gavin now that you've kind of learned some of this stuff th does it not feel a bit more simple to you yeah or it really does no, I've said real, i'm actually asking you genuinely does it not feel a bit more simple like you know how to build the picture right you know how to build it yeah and it's um, the only way I can describe it is it's like in the matrix and you can see it, you see it differently. And I think I said in the video that I posted, it's just you would be looking at a normal level thinking, oh, it's one thing. And then now I'm actually seeing all these hidden levels and seeing what the advanced guys are seeing. And it's just putting it all in in into context. I think the important thing is context. Everybody's got their own personality. Everybody's got their own nature. And also, you know, you don't have to be. Um, Einstein to do this. Yes, you have to activate your left brain, but also bring in your right brain. If you're really creative, you can start to see things that maybe other people won't see. And that's the exciting thing. That's the really exciting thing for me is that how can I apply my creativity into something that doesn't just have to be boring? I can look for all of these things. And the more, 
the more knowledge I get, the more it makes sense, the more I want to do. It's just, yeah, it's that whole success cycle that we were talking about earlier, right? Absolutely. Um, you you just, once it clicks, you, you make as much money as you want. I sound, I know, I know it's like, that sounds like hype, but it really feels like that. You just make as much money as you want, but you've got to put the work in. It's not a case of like, you know, just getting into stuff. You can see how much, how much effort and detail we find before we take a trade. Alvaro right. says, Andy's money factory. <laughs> the one thing Alvaro, he says to me is, um, he's like, you're learning how to, you're learning how to create an ATM machine in whatever room you fire up your laptop. And I love that. I love that. It's awesome. I feel like that. I don't say it like just lightly. I feel like that. That's really what it is. That's what you're trying to achieve to be able to just pull out money whenever you want. And you, you move away from gambling and you will move and you move into consistency and running it like an effective, you know, well-run business. And that's and, it. And people say about belief, this is now this belief. You don't have to experience people's mistakes and successes, but you can transfer that belief. So by seeing this now, by seeing what this man's doing, guys, um, posting in the group his um his trade setups. It's that that built belief, mate. We can all leverage. $70. Frosty. <laughs> hey, that might be a thing. Frosty's a comedian. Uh, I probably, I pro probably prefer uh, Demi Cryptos rather than Demi Dollars. I'm not sure how long they're gonna dollars are going to be of value over the next few years, but that's another conversation for another show. Oh, I, I, think. Don't know about that, mate. I think you're more likely to have uh, dollars than cryptos. Interesting. You know, I did invest in cryptos, but topic topic for next week's show me things so look guys thank you very much for tuning in i know we've overran but we hope we give you value as usual in this week we've really enjoyed it um and yeah i um is there anything that you want to say andy no no i mean just like finally thank you everyone for, for being here and also you know if anybody does have any genuine questions like reach out uh to you know whoever uh, if you're already speaking to somebody, but or even to yourself, right, Gavin? So, like, yeah. um, if you've got any questions, the best thing is to put a message in the group to you so that you can connect with somebody. Otherwise, if you uh, private message Gavin and you're not connected, you won't you won't get it. Um, and I'll, you know, I'll have a check. I'll students, you know, I've, just to, I've, sorry to cut you off. That's uh, that's me being a hypocrite now. So apologies for that. Um, I've worked out how to do it. So I'm, I was before this whole group, I wasn't massive on Facebook. I'll admit that. And I've worked out how to do it now. I think I know how to get message requests. So, uh, yeah, if I've ignored you, I apologize. I didn't realize what I had to do. But now um, now I'm there. So, yeah, message me directly if you want to talk to me about my in, individual experience. There's so much experience and knowledge in the group. Also message in the group. And also you've got the link to follow through. Um, Right there can, as well. can one of our students confirm that they got an email? I don't know if you guys got an email. You should have done. Yeah, message, message, um, message us and let us know. Yeah, even if you they do it on the group, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, cool. When we're done. Thank you, Marius. We appreciate uh, we appreciate you joining the show. Um, and yeah, just smack in those um those likes and everything. So uh, yeah, algorithm comment squad. I think it's time for us. To bounce mr demi yes it's been a long one today um but yeah thanks everybody and um you know for next week's show if there's anything that people want us to cover or do like we always say we're here for you so um you know open to anything most things not anything anything is very open <laughs> open to most, things. most things he said that let me I'll take it back <laughs> I draw the line at speedos on the beach. That's my line. Anything other than that? No way, guys. No way, Jose. <laughs> Wherever you are, um, whatever you're doing, have an amazing uh, rest of your evening or rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Thanks, if, it's Gavin, in, if it's in front of you to speak to us, go ahead, find out, find out what you can. Um, and we're looking forward to speaking to you. Otherwise, have an amazing weekend and we'll do the same thing. Same time, same place next week. Speedos yeah. only. Mm. Yeah, let's bright play yellow. the music mate bright yellow ones see you later guys with that lovely thought in your heads
sui montagna. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 e se per dire la sui montagna, sotto l'ombra di un vecchio. Per le senti, passo da voi, oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Vedete che 